Well, hi, everybody. Welcome once again to the Storyteller Almanac Podcast. My name is Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is called Sarah Colley. And you're probably used to it by now, but I'll say it anyway. I love doing these in the Paul Harvey rest of the story format. In other words, you got to stick with me till the end to figure out who the heck or what the heck I'm talking about. That being said, let us begin. Sarah was born October 25th, 1912. Her childhood dream was to be the most dramatic actress of her time. She was on her way to Broadway, but to get there, she would have to gain experience, stature, and make a living directing plays in local communities, etc. The year is 1932. Sarah's train arrives in the middle of a blinding blizzard in Coleman, Alabama. Coleman is just one more stop on Sarah's touring around directing local plays. The principal of the local high school was supposed to meet Sarah at the train. However, he figured the weather was so bad Sarah wouldn't even bother coming. It was beyond nightfall before Sarah was finally able to locate the principal. His embarrassment was compounded by the fact that there was nowhere for Sarah to stay. Then the principal remembered this old log cabin way outside town, inhabited by a wonderful country family. He figured surely they'll have a place for Sarah. Upon arrival at the cabin at the end of a long, windy, snow-covered, unplowed dirt road, they walked up the steps of the log cabin. An older woman, in a faded but clean print dress, answers the door. She informs them that she has no real place for Sarah, but says one of her sons won't mind sleeping on the kitchen floor while Sarah takes his room. For ten days. Sarah begins thinking in her mind that she shouldn't have to go through this. I'm an actress and a play director, she says to herself. Nonetheless, she realizes there's no choice here for accommodations. But a strange and a wonderful thing begins to happen. The older country woman I spoke of starts to make a, a real impression on Sarah. She, Sarah, thinks and later remembers how funny this woman was without even trying. Just a down-home epitome of country hospitality. The woman made more of an impression on Sarah than even Sarah knew or realized at first. Now, to skip ahead some years, Sarah gave up her first dream of becoming the serious dramatic actress after meeting this simple country woman. Sarah came up with a uh, created character that basically was that country woman. Anybody have any ideas here yet as to who Sarah is or was? Well, Sarah Colley was left with an impression by that nice older country woman that she not only would never forget, she'd make it so the rest of the world would get to know and never forget that woman, or at least the character she created based on the woman. Sarah would portray her in some TV and film work, but... Sarah Colley and her character are best known for the joy and laughter she made people feel between the years of 1940 and 1991, while at the Grand Old Opry. Sarah would come on stage every performance and begin by greeting the audience with a rousing, loud country, Howdy! <clears throat> she could do that much better than I could. Well, if you haven't guessed it by now, Sarah Colley, better known to the rest of us as Minnie Pearl, will forever be a reminder to us all that good old-fashioned country woman in the big log cabin in her generous country hospitality. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Storyteller Almanac Podcast. Thanks for tuning in, and as always... Be kind to each other, do good deeds, pray for peace, help those in need, and always, always, always follow your path of heart. Make it a good day, y'all.